to do everybody it's your boy dig dug dag in the house and first I got, I got some shout outs to give you know first i'm gonna give a shout out to my boy i rosen for hooking me up with that intro man i'm telling you that intro is nasty man i, I actually didn't expect you to do it in on the such short notice but right here it's when i realized my sensitivity is too high for m16 yeah but anyway gotta give a shout out to him he's a off the chain editor like no joke he I want to say especially it's like intros maybe like the 3d text animations and things like that that's why I see a lot of his best work but he's a great editor as well so I'm hitting hit him up with a link actually fucking annotation and then you know please go hit him up and man it's like oh my gosh I, I can't explain I love him and then I gotta give a shout out to my boy Gmo my man shit block those two guys right there brought me back to my senses made me remember who I was because I don't like making crybaby commentaries. I hate them. I don't even like other people making them. Crying about all this, all that, but I really don't know why I made that other commentary about my inactive subscribers when I really don't care about things like that. I actually really don't. Just, I do this for fun. And I actually enjoy uh, going out there, you know, getting a, a, a nice gameplay and then like bringing it here to, for you guys just to commentate over it anyway, even if no one watches it. Like, I remember doing this uh, way before. I got big just for no freaking reason. I had friends who had 20,000 subs and I had like 11. And I was commentating because I thought I was cool. And it brought me back to the fact that, man, I, I'm doing it, you know, just for kicks. And thank you guys for doing that for me, you know, bringing me back down to earth. Maybe because I was, I was thinking I was sitting myself on a pedestal so high, you know, and I've never done that. I never liked to do that. I never liked to say that I was better than any one person. Because, you know, I'm not. There's always going to be somebody better than you. And I always took that to heart because that's just how I was raised. Don't ever think you're the best. Like, even though when it may look like you're the best, there's somebody out there that you just don't know yet. So, I just have to, like, you know, nip that one in the butt. Thank you guys for helping me do that. But, in this game, um, it's an ass stomper of a TDM. Like, whew, man, I don't even know. Like... At first, I was going to come here, you know, I was getting used to M16-ing again because, you know, I always start off with M16. Well, I always start off with the Assault class for any new Call of Duty coming out. And, you know, I know Modern for 3 has M16 in there, but some uh, burst fire weapon available at, like, level 1 because it's always been like that. So, you know, I'm getting my M16 back and everything, you know, I'm, I'm working with it, I'm working with it. But I do switch for an AUG. I only switched to the AUG because I just needed a gun that was automatic and the AUG just happened to be there. I could use any other one, I didn't really, really need it. I, I switched it because um, the game, the gameplay wasn't moving as slow as the M16 uh, would favor it to be. You know, like, somewhat slow, but because I'm looking at my team, they, they drop me. Boom, boom, boom. And I'm like, man, if I don't get on it, I'm gonna be left in the dark, so I had to switch it off to a higher rate of fire gun, or just a gun that's automatic. But yeah, you know, I'm trying to get used to my M16 again. I haven't really used it too much, and I try to ring the dinner bell for that claymore if somebody that run into it, nothing happens. But I'm trying to get back to my M16, you know, because I'm, I know for a fact they have it. I'm gonna use it. I, I never use the the shotgun there at the SMG or the LMG. I always use the assault class. But that's, that's why I'm, I'm trying to get back with that. Uh, from here on out, you might see a lot more M16 gameplay. Cause, you know, I really want to get really adept with it. That's what I did uh, for Black Ops. But I did it a bit too late because I hadn't played with M16 and uh, Reflex in forever. And I tried to play it in Black Ops and I still didn't do too good. So I'm hoping that with a lot of M16 play, I can get a lot better with it. Um, but uh, that's... That's what I'm doing in this video. Uh, actually, I wish my kill streaks were a bit higher instead of running the one-two punch with the napalm to match. Because uh, I could have went higher. I don't even know why I tried to reload here. I had 28 rounds left. But what I want to talk about is, like the main overall subject, the commentary. What I want to talk about is this beautiful music that you guys are hearing in the background right now. Like, I remember that uh, back in the gap, I used to, you know, uh, put up videos or video commentaries with tips and uh, I think just regular videos as well but uh, I have music in the background I have myself a little bored you know I have myself played out was looking real flop and uh, in my zombie gameplay uh, I think my my third and stump the one I just put up I asked you guys hey if you have a favorite song or something I'll listen to it and then I'll put it in a in, in my commentary the instrumental of course because you know if those lyrics were in there 
they would uh, clash with me actually talking and yeah stuff like that but uh, first person hit me up was my man the Dan Roy or the Danny Roy I think, I think I say his name the Danny Roy is an I in there I'm pretty sure he said Danny but he hooked me up with the Samurai Shampoo opening theme song now here's the thing I used to watch Sam Samurai Shampoo uh, I stopped watching because you know I just I, it's not like I couldn't keep up with it it's just that it came on Adult Swim and then it just stopped airing uh, and I necessarily didn't watch Adult Swim like all the time because I don't, believe it or not I'm not really a fan a fan of Family Guy and it just came on too much for me and I was like ah whatever but the song is like really really fresh I, I love the, the show because you know it was a hip hop based uh, anime show and I thought that was like really fly and I, I watched it you know I didn't watch too much I wasn't like a super fan but you know when it came on I was like oh man I'm gonna watch that but uh, the, the song is like like really really fly so I, I know you guys are hearing it and uh, you know it, it has a really nice beat to it you, know, you, you seriously cannot get mad at the beat the beat is ridiculously dope and I got another uh, I got a couple more songs that I'm gonna put up uh, from the people who, who put them in on the other commentary but if you guys you know want to you know hit me up with a song just hey dad do commentary to this song you know go ahead and like hit me up with that and um if you guys want me to go back to uh putting music period in discussion in all my commentaries i will but the music i used to put in was a g funk like california west coast california based uh soul quote unquote soul music if one gangster rap it was this it was the two flavors that came in and i like that era uh, so I, I use those instruments because you know they're softer, they you know, you can actually commentate over them. So if you guys like that, I can go back to that because that was actually a really, a really fly thing for me to do. I can, I can definitely and would love to go back to that. Actually, regardless of what you guys say, I'm going back to it anyway. I just want to know what you guys think about it. But uh, the, the, that's what I want to talk about. You know, the music thing. I'm, I'm getting back into that. That's why I hear the music in the background. But this game is coming to a close. I tried to actually use the fat nappy here, but I think I get blazed up in the back or something. Um, yeah, that's it. No, I didn't get blazed up at all. I just <laughs> game's over. But yeah, that's that's one ass stomp on the TDM. Thank you guys so much for uh, for tuning in. Uh, big shout outs to I Rosen for hooking up the intro, and big ups to uh, Gmo808 and Shitblock for bringing me down to earth, and also for the uh, the Danny Roy to for hooking me up with this song. I'll let you boy.